This clash and confrontation between NYPD, the New York City Police Department, and uh, thousands of protesters took place on the Brooklyn Bridge. Now, these protesters that have held camp down by Wall Street have been uh, demonstrating for about two weeks. This demonstration started by Wall Street, and then the protesters rallied uh, towards the Brooklyn Bridge. When they got on the Brooklyn Bridge, the police showed up and uh, basically cornered off both sides of the Brooklyn Bridge and started to move in on the protesters to make arrests for blocking traffic and disorderly conduct. That's when things got ugly, to say the least. Uh, the protesters were, were banging drum, drums and, and chanting, the whole world is watching. Um, police moved in. There were paddy wagons brought to the scene. This is just uh, the most recent incident that has taken place in New York in the past weeks. Last weekend, we saw demonstrators get made in the face by police officers, police officers using netting to arrest demonstrators that have been camped out on Wall Street. Um, as I mentioned, the Brooklyn Bridge was closed down uh, when this incident erupted today. And for those that don't live in New York City, uh, let me explain to you, that is a very, very big deal for something like that to take place. And uh, there were, uh, I guess, you can't even count the amount of police officers that went down to the scene. And it, the, the clashes erupted, and they got violent. And uh, as I mentioned, even journalists were among those who were arrested. Uh, this is a group, Occupy Wall Street, if our viewers aren't aware, a group of Americans that have called on all those that are frustrated about the economic circumstance of uh, in America right now to, to come down, rally, and voice their opposition. And that is what has been taking place for the past two weeks. But as that uh, demonstration has been taking place, we've seen this kind of crackdown uh, that's been, you know, on the side of the New York City Police Department against these protesters. And this is evolving week by week and clearly getting uh, much more confrontational. Now, as protests grow and the clashes increase, do we have any idea what the clear demands are of these protesters? Well, uh, the overall demands is that they're, 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 they're speaking out against corporate greed and social inequality. This group has been criticized by mainstream media for not having one unified message. What do they want? A lot of critics say, what do they want? And I think a lot of them want different things. Union members have come down there to join the demonstration. We've seen, uh, we've seen, uh, you know, scholars, professors, activists, uh, someone like Michael Moore even go down to the crowd to join them and voice support. Uh, I think what, what, brings everyone together is their frustration over the U.S. economy, over the fact that there's, there's, people are losing their jobs, people can't get their jobs, people are struggling to find, uh, to find uh, money to, to make ends meet. Um, also, some have noted and some have said that the Americans are now taking inspiration from the Arab Spring protesters that, that, that swept through um, Africa and North Africa and the Middle East. And uh, these Americans are now saying this is their their American spring. And there are they are planning to stay down there through the end of the year. And I can tell you this, week by week, this group of demonstrators that, you know, call themselves Occupy Wall Street, this group is getting bigger and bigger. There's no doubt about that.